Hello friends, I'm Santosh Sharma and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today I will be telling you what are different type of virtual server in F5. In this lecture, I will explain you the difference between standard virtual server with TCP profile and standard virtual server with layer seven profile. We have different kind of virtual server. We have standard virtual server, we have forwarding virtual server, where we have forwarding layer two and forwarding IP. We have performance virtual server with layer four and HTTP. This is the screenshot I have taken from F5 where you can see standard virtual server and then you have forwarding layer two, forwarding IP, performance HTTP, performance layer two, layer four, sorry. And then you have so many other virtual server, type of virtual server. So we will not discuss these in this lecture. But in this, I will explain you the packet flow of standard virtual server with TCP profile. Let's take an example. You have this client PC and then you have a server. Okay. And then we have this server F5. And in F5, we have one virtual server, which is facing to external. And then we have internal VLAN and external internal. Then you have a pool. In that pool, you have a three members. Okay. Let's see. How is the traffic flow? First of all, traffic will flow from this direction. Okay. So what will happen first? This client will initiate three-way handshake. Everyone knows what is three-way handshake, but I will revise like this client will send SYN packet to the virtual server, virtual server will send SYNAC, and then finally this guy will send acknowledgement to the virtual server. So that tells client side handshake is complete okay after this is done your f5 will select any pool member okay suppose it has selected pool member two okay and then it will initiate three way handshake with that pool member actually the pool member is of course any of the server which is listening on that port number okay so your f5 lcm will initiate sin and it will receive sin act from the server and then finally it will send the acknowledgement so your server side handshake is complete what we understood from here we understood like f5 which is full proxy and in full proxy two connections are initiated that's why it is a full proxy one is from client towards the server and another is from your f5 to your pool member okay that's it i'm not telling you like it will take itself IP or with what would be the source IP when this connection is initiated. For now, you only need to understand there are two connections, okay? What will happen after three-way handshake is done on both sides? Client begin sending data. So when we say data, client will send HTTP get request to virtual server and virtual server will send the same get request to the server and server will response and that response will be received by f5 and f5 will send that response to the client so this is the standard virtual server with tcp profile okay now let's discuss standard virtual server with layer 7 profile in this we have taken same setup client to server external to internet internal sorry and Three way handshake is done from the client side, exactly same how it has happened previously. But here you would have noticed that client is sending HTTP get request. But in our previous case, after this three way handshake, this three way handshake has started. Okay. But in layer seven, because it's a layer seven, in layer seven, your get request, HTTP comes in a layer seven. Okay. So your virtual, your LTM will wait for at least one layer seven packet. Okay, so your client has to send at least one layer seven packet. So our client has sent HTTP get request and then your F5 has acknowledged it. Okay, and after that, any of the pool member is selected. You see here, pool number two is selected. And now what will happen? Please comment on this video. 
take a pause of one second, what will be the next process? I will answer that. Connection need to be initiated. So to initiate the connection to the backend node, F5 has to initiate three-way handshake. Once the three-way handshake server side is completed, then it will forward the get request to backend server. And then it will get the response back and that response is given back to the client. So what you have understood from layer four standard virtual server, or I can say standard virtual server with layer four profile, in layer four, your three-way handshake is completed first from client to virtual server, and then your FI will initiate three-way handshake with backend server. But in layer seven, it will not initiate the three-way handshake with backend server until it will not get at least one layer seven packet in this case, which is HTTP get request. Okay, so I hope this is clear. But I would also like to tell you one exception in layer seven profile. Okay, and that exception, let's take an example of FTP. In FTP, LTM may initiate server side connection prior to first data packet from client side. So F5 will not wait for the get request from the client side, but it can initiate the three-way handshake, which will be which will become same as layer four with layer four profile. Okay. But you know why this happens? Because user need to get the banner, and banner has to be provided by your server. That's why three-way handshake need to be processed, but that is exception with only few applications. So this is the standard virtual server. Please comment if you like this video, please share this with your friends. And if you want to join the course, please ping me on WhatsApp and I will give you the details. Okay guys, bye.